Hey y'all, I'm Tyann with Touch Day, the Queen of Guests experience, and this is the next video about Memo. This one's a little bit longer, but I promise it's a good one. So I love to use Memo to push information to my guest. Sometimes my memos include a link to my Touch Day digital guidebook, and other times the memos are simply reminders to my guest. For example, I email detailed directions and access code to my guest 14 days before arrival. And at the same time, I send a memo text telling guests I've emailed them the information, let me know if they didn't receive it. I also switch from mainly emails to all text messages once the guest arrives, because who wants to check email on their vacation? Not me. So any important reminders I send during the stay are by memo text. So in our other video, we set up a basic communication flow, and now it's time to send invitations to our guest. There are two ways to add guests to your memo invites. So let me make myself a little bit smaller here and put me in the corner. Okay, two ways. You can either one, have an integration with your PMS, or two, you can do it manually. For this video, I'm going to show you how to create an invitation manually, and then also how different ways you can edit the text as well, or edit the invitation. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create an invite. I got to this screen by clicking on memo up here in the navigation bar, and then now we have two templates two tabs, uh, one is templates and one is invitations. So we're at invitations. And then we can choose invite by email SMS, or we can just get an invite link. So we're going to do an invite by email SMS. We're gonna choose the guide that we want, and then we're going to put the name, we're going to put email address if you're gonna do emails, and then we're going to do a phone number here. You want to make sure you have your country code and then arrival date and departure date. Let's stay a little while. Okay. Unlimited or you can choose a date. Now what this means is that if you have content in your, in your guidebook that is limited, so that means people only see it for a limited amount of time during their stay, then you would say when you want that to happen, when they can see it. So one day before arrival, two days before arrival, eight weeks before arrival, or you can just leave it as unlimited and your guests can see all the information during the whole time. And then if you want the link not to expire, so where your guests can see the information even after they depart, then you would choose yes, allow access after departure date. So I'm gonna allow that for this one. I'm gonna hit next, and now it's going to show me all of the messages that are scheduled for this invitation. Now what I can do on the screen is I can edit the invitation details if I've realized that I've misspelled something or put in a wrong phone number. I can also edit specific um, messages. For instance, if I don't want a message to go out, I can uh, remove the message, or I can even send it right now. So let me just go ahead and send the post booking one. I'm going to make that make sure it goes out immediately. It's ready to go. So it's going to go fast once I click submit. But if also I don't want to send something, say for instance, I don't want grocery delivery to go out to this specific person, I can remove that message. Let's see. Now everything is pending. Oh, it updated. It let me, it sent, it sent it immediately. Now I can also add an email custom message or add a, add a custom text message right here. I can also copy the link. So it links copied to my clipboard and I can paste that into any type of other um, information that I want to do messages and things like that. So I'm going to hit submit so that this is now here in my invite. Now what's really cool is I can also see if a guest um, it clicks on it or not. So let's open this up. So you can see here that I received the text and says, hello, here's all you need to say, to see, to know about our guidebook. Click the link and now it's opening up on my phone. Now I have clicked it. So what that means is if I refresh this right here, you can see right here that I have looked at it already and you've got some views. So you can tell when your guest has looked at it and when they haven't yet, which is really, really nice. Okay, so what if you want to not send a specific memo to a guest? So let's say for instance, 
Um, I want to go in, so here I'm going to click on the three dots. Oh, my face is in the way. Let's move it over here. Okay, three dots. I can view, edit this invite link and the template messages even after I've already set it up. So I'm looking here. Let's see if I don't want the hot tub lock code to go out that we set up earlier. Just remove. That's it. Three dots, remove, submit, and it's removed. Now, also, you can send a scheduled memo immediately if I like. So for instance, um, the other thing is one of these already sent ones. If I want to resend it, click on the three dots and I can hit resend and it'll send again and submit. So my phone's going to ding in a second here again. Now, what if a guest cancels? Um, if you're integrated, the system will remove the invite link. There's nothing more for you to do. But if you've added the guest manually, you will need to manually delete the invite for the canceled guest. Uh, so that's super easy. Find the guest, click the three dots, and then delete. So are you sure you want to do this? And as soon as I hit delete, then if I try to access that link that was texted to me, I won't be able to anymore because the invite link is expired. It's gone. It's done. All right. So these are the basics of Memo to get you started. There's more advanced ways to use Memo that involve using tags for properties, tags for guests, the custom fields, but all of those are for another video. If you need more help, don't hesitate to email us at support at touchday.com and the Touchday team will help you out.